grace and peace, love and mercy from God our Father, through Jesus Christ, our risen Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you for tuning in once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy. Today, as we prepare for the divine service tomorrow, the fifth Sunday in Lent, we turn our attention to the introit selected verses from Psalm 43. Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him my salvation, and my God. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Vindicate me, O God. Judge me. Judge me. That's what the psalmist is praying that God would do. Kind of scary words, aren't they? Do we really want God to judge us? We know our sin. We know our sins of thought, word, and deed. We know the sins that we have kept from other people, kept only on the inside. And God knows too. God knows our sin. He knows us inside and out. And so to appeal to God to judge us is a frightful thing. Remember, my friends, God's word, especially here in the Psalms, are first and foremost about Jesus. Imagine Jesus praying this psalm. Vindicate me, O God. Judge me. Defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. My friends, as we move closer and closer to Holy Week, our readings are more striking. They are more focused on what God did for you and for me, for the world, in the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, who is arrested. Jesus, who is plotted against. Jesus, who has all kinds of unjust charges brought against him. Jesus, who never sinned, not once, not ever. Jesus is perfectly holy and righteous, and yet the attacks come against him. Jesus prays that God would vindicate him. And that's exactly what God did. Jesus went to the cross, bleeding and dying at the hands of unjust people. Pilate, Pilate declared him innocent. And yet he buckled at the pressure of the crowd. Herod found no fault in him, and yet the people continued to cry out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Release for us Barabbas! Jesus knows injustice because he lived it. He felt it. He died on account of it. His stone-cold body was laid in a new tomb. And three days later, God vindicated him. God raised him from the dead, never to die again. My friends, because Jesus has been vindicated 
through his life, death, and resurrection, we who cling to Jesus by grace through faith can pray these words, can pray the words of Psalm 43 with confidence. In Jesus Christ, our sins have been forgiven. In Jesus Christ, the accusers in this world lose their ammunition. In fact, the chief accuser, Satan himself, has been crushed by the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, God looks at us and sees Jesus. Now God looks at us by grace through faith and sees holiness and perfection because we are covered with the robe of Christ's righteousness. We can pray, vindicate me, O God. We can pray that God would be with us and sustain us when the attacks of the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh are raging against us we can have confidence because Jesus has been vindicated. We too will be. My friends, rejoice in God's vindication for you through Jesus Christ. Amen.